What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cool JC, and this is Trap News TV. And before I get started on today's topic, do your boy a favor, hit that subscribe button. But anyway, let's talk about today's topic. The young man you see on my screen now goes by the name of Danye Jones. He's from Ferguson, Missouri. Danye Jones was found hanged by his mother. Now, give you a backstory of who Danye Jones is. His mother, Melissa McKinney's, she's a prominent protester. And she helped organize some of the protests that took place in Ferguson when Michael Brown was murdered by Dan Wilson in 2014. And this is her son, Danye Jones. I'm gonna go ahead and read the excerpt. What Melissa McKinney said she found that morning on October 17th. It goes, McKinney found her son on the morning of October 17th, his body hanging from a bed sheet, which was tied around his neck. According to CBS, McKinney's and police confirmed that a, a chair was found near Jones' body. McKinney says she Knows her son didn't kill himself. Now, I'm gonna paint this picture for you. She was a she was an activist who helped organize protests during the Ferguson uprising in 2014 behind the killing of Michael Brown. Now, it's strange to me, all of a sudden her son just pops up dead. But let me give you some old names that were around or in, in that protest or who had something to do with the protest now all of a sudden they'll end up dead but like I was saying let me give you some more prominent names who had something to do with the protest and the uprising in Ferguson now all of a sudden they have ended up or, or been found dead the first one DeAndre Joshua he was 20 years old he was found shot in the head in 2014. Darren Seals, who was 29, he was found shot in the head inside of a burning car. Edward Crawford, and you might have remembered him um, from the iconic photo of uh, him throwing back the tear gas canister back at the police. But he was 27. He was found dead from a self-inflicted gunshot. It's just strange, man. These 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 guys just end up dead. Oh, coincidence, but it just it's sketchy, man. But like I was saying, man, it, it was just it's just weird they end up dead like that. And then I mean another little a quote that uh Melissa McKinney said, she said and this is just sad, man. She said in a Facebook post, uh, this is what I woke up to. They lynched my baby. She wrote, I'm sick. I'm sick and losing my mind, but I had to let the world see what they did to my baby. It's sad, man. And if you haven't seen it, she posted a, uh, a image, a disturbing image of her son, son being, you know, just hanging from the tree. Sad, man. It's just sad. And then it goes on to say, you know, it's from with trauma. It said, uh, McKinney's told the Post Dispatch and KMOV TV that she and her, her, her family have received death threats, her work organizing protests following the killing of Michael Bryan in 2014. Those threats, which were delivered through social media, appear to have escalated in the last two months. They watched my house. When my husband and my son would approach the car, they would drive off, McKinney's told KMOV-TV. 
Ah, man, it's just... It's sad, bro. It's just sad, man. It's really sad. I'm, I'm praying for the family, man. Uh, praying for their safety and their well-being, man. This, I mean, we, we live in America. This should not be taking place. It's just sad, man. It's just sad. This just shows where we at now. In America. But when y'all spend my time, it's me, your boy Cool JC. I'm signing off. Peace. Jack Chad on the track, bike.